Hello YouTube, this is USA Penny Hunter 43 and uh, I'm finally back guys. So what had originally happened is uh, the reason why I haven't made videos in a while is uh, the camera lens to my camera had actually broke. I dropped it and it cracked it so I had to uh, send it in to get it repaired and that took a while and then I kind of forgot for a little bit. It was about a day or two. But uh uh here's two coin star finds. These are some tokens for nearby car wash. But uh we have two modern quarters, three zinc pennies, uh five copper pennies, two nickels, uh a dime, and that's all one. I wish I had this one on video. This was happened today. And then uh for these two uh, this dime and this penny were also found today, and uh, these are Coinstar machine finds. This is from uh, Shopco, and this is from uh, crap. I can't even think of it, cash wise. But uh, so some interesting things with this is I have made an addition to the collection. Um, I bought this, and I planned on making a video on it, but I figured. You know what, these rolls are trying to get away. I'm just going to do that. Um, just wanted to show you that. It's a 1909 VDB MS uh, 36 RB. That got a little wiped off for whatever reason. But, yeah, good coin. So, I figured we would get back to the usual and just opening up rolls. Oh. So, uh, let's get in these rolls. Sorry about that weird pause. I, uh, camera was falling. So I kind of just had to pause it real quick and fix the tripod. So, Loomis rolls from a gas station. As you remember, Loomis aren't my favorite. And, uh, the reason with background change, I just kind of felt like it was time. Getting kind of weird doing it on my bedroom floor. So I thought that would make sense. To change it to a nice like, desk. Um, so we're gonna start it off with the 73 and the 76, 77, 94, and a Canadian 1973. Fairly common one, but that is something to put aside. Uh, got 2016 D, uh, 76, 89, 86, uh, 90. 84, 2014, 2008, 2015, and a 64. That's our first 60, and it's a little bit bent, as you can tell. So we're just going to set that while in the pile of fines. That's a nice 76, and that's all for that part of the roll so far. Uh, here. We have 72D. 82D, 2015, 90D, D, uh, 72, 72D, 69, that's a, another key, keeper, uh, 2000D, 1983D, 2001, 88, 2015, 2010, 2014, 99, uh, 85, 2014, 83, uh, 83, and 79. And there's about four more left in this roller, so I don't know. There's just kind of some sitting in there. Throw the wrapper off the side. 2001, 16, 2011, 97, 93, 96, 2008, and 2015. So that's uh, not the best for one roll right there but if it's I mean the Canadian's fine but I get plenty of those um just gonna kind of leaf through this one I'm not gonna read off all the numbers but 94 yeah I just saw a commemorative for sure oh well, that's a 72 S as well commemorative uh, 78 2017, another one. Yeah, 2018 coins are in circulation too. I forgot to say that. Haven't gotten one quite yet, but uh, at least something to look forward to. 
Um, let's see. Now these, these rolls, as you can tell, they have a, quite a streak of zinc, as you can see. Yeah, a lot of them have been 2017 Ds. Well, there's a 63. But, uh, yeah, no 2017 Ps yet. Well, there's a 62. Yeah, and that's the end of that hand pull with the 97. And we're gonna pick up the last bit of this roll. Uh, got an 85, 79, 96. Oops, I think that one was a 60. Nope, there's just a 76 with a weird uh, dent in it. 90, 77, 95, 2016, and 98. So, averaging about three things per roll, about 3.5. Yeah, okay. Let's hope for a week honey in this last roll. Quite a streak of zinc. That black one looks kind of weird in the middle. That's because it's just a piece of crap. Uh, not seeing anything off the bat immediately, but we've started off with a 2006. I mean, that's 1970. I don't even know what's thinking there. Um, oh, that's a nice 68. Look at that. That actually is a quite a nice one. Shinier than usual. But, yeah. Uh, oh, look at that. Canadian leaf up. Uh, it's an 82. That's extremely common one. Over 10 of those. And uh, ended off with a 94 for that handful. So let's get into this little section. Another 2017D. And uh, just going to keep going through this one. Lots of zinc. This is a section that I could care less to look at. So far, a lot of them in shields and uh, early 2000s. Okay, ending off that section with an 85. I just hope that there's one in this last little section. Probably not, but I guess that's just how it is. 2014, 88, 2017, D. Uh, 2001, 1978, 2012, 79, 2001, uh, 89, uh, I think that's a 60, yep, that's a 68, and an 80. So, that's, uh, everything. I'm trying to think of, uh, something else I could show you, just to be, you know, just to be cool. Uh, just, you know what, just give me a second, I'll try and find something. Okay, I actually did find something. I bought this coin book off Amazon, and it's a little too big to fit on screen. I'm going to slip our fines off to the side with the 1909 ZDB. And I slip coins to our fines over here. And just take a look at this book. So, um, I have gotten hooked up with the coin shop recently, which is really good for me. Uh, we're just going to make this easier to look at. So, as you can see... I thought it would be kind of cool and fitting. That's just uh, that's just sitting in there. That's one of them that I found while I, the camera was in. It's a 1919 plain date. But we have a 1906, 1907, 1908. And uh, when I plan, I plan on getting a 1905. So I'll have 1905 through uh, 1958. So there's a Philadelphia that I found. And some other shiny ones I put in here. As you can see, I have every single one in the 50s now. And if we flip through here, it's uh, hard to find steel cents in circulation. So I got these from the coin shop along with those Indian heads. Uh, got all of these, all of the 40s too. So that's really good. And uh, 38S, it's a, that's a harder one to find. You guys remember finding that shiny one with me. I. Uh, I had bought one from the coin shop for an easy four cents. I thought that would be kind of cool. And now we're getting into the harder stuff to get. 
35 Philadelphia, you guys remember that. I have found a 3040. You guys have seen plenty of the 34s. I have found a 31 recently, a 30S, 30D, and a 30, which is pretty good. But the rest of these ones in here are all ones that I have bought. Well, you guys can't even see the top half. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Uh, obviously, we're missing some, but from having all of them, I'm only 30 away. And uh, the coin shop that I always go to, he's uh, pulling these ones aside for me, which is great. Because he says that he can get me a 31S cheaper than one that you could buy on eBay. And not that I planned on buying one on eBay anyways. But uh, here, this 20D, I uh, had actually found, it was in, on the end of a roll, which is really sweet. 20D before I found a 20. I found a 20 a little bit after that. But uh, let's see, the rarest coin that I have in this book. I did not find this 11D, but I did buy it for 4 cents. R amazingly enough, it's quite cheap. And you guys should remember this. This is the oldest one I've ever found. That's that, uh, that's that 1910 that I found in that TCF box and all those Loomis rolls. And, uh,. There's another VDB and another 1909. So we have 11, I have all the uh, Philadelphia years except uh, 32 and 33. Otherwise, I'm getting this filled out. This 17S was part of that 38S box, if you guys remember. So it's not in here, it's actually in a, a coin holder. So I'm, I, I, we're, al we're almost done filling in this book. And that's what, the, the reason why I have the Indian heads. I'm not going to collect the S's, obviously, because it's going to be impossible, because they're so rare. Just like this, uh, 1909 S of Beanie But uh, I'm just going to close this up. It, I mean, this, it was a good book, as you can see. Only five bucks. Holds in all of them. Only complaint that people have about it, I don't. I actually like it in particular, is that... Uh, the coins are stuck in there good, and I think that uh, that's actually something that's really good because that means they're, it's harder for them to fall out. I'm trying to get lighting on this good. Here, let's try zooming in. Oh yeah, it's definitely better. Obviously some scratches on the case. Got it used from a guy. Oh, that VDB on the back. It's an RB too, I just love the look of it. Yeah, lots of scratches on it. But, either way guys, thank you for watching. And uh, this has been a catch-up video. And, uh, see you guys on Wednesday.